Voting in the 2020 presidential election has already begun in some places, if you believe it. North Carolina last Friday becoming the first state to send out ballots to voters. And as we now enter the actual voting, um, there are two big things to watch, right? One is the polls and the politics, uh, you know, in the state of the race. The other, which might become more determinative and important as we go forward, is how the election is administered and how the process of voting goes, how fair and equitable it is uh, from mail-in ballots to possible foreign interference. It is a whole bunch of novel territory we're entering. One of the people whose job it is to help oversee and enforce election law is Ellen Weintraub. She's a commissioner of the Federal Election Commission who's been very outspoken about protecting the integrity of the election, and she joins me now. Um, uh, Commissioner, I know that the FEC has a certain sort of portfolio, uh, largely in the regulation of money and politics. Um, you spend your time thinking a lot about the sort of American election system. Um, so in a broad sense, like how prepared, ready do you think the system is right now? Well, um, I've got my fingers crossed. I know that people across the country in the election administration business, which of course happens at the state and local level, are all working very hard night and day to try and get us prepared. It would be really good if they had more resources. Uh, it was estimated earlier this year by the Brennan Center that states and localities could use an extra $4 billion in order to um, run this election properly with the ramped up mail-in as well as all the extra protections they're going to need for the in-person voting. And Congress has only allocated 10 percent of that amount, 400 million. Um, the Zuckerbergs, uh, the Chan Zuckerbergs decided to throw in another 300 million. So that was nice of them. Uh, there are base, uh, sorry, basketball stadiums that are donating their space. There are uh, employers who are offering to pay their employees to be poll workers. So the entire country is trying to pull together, but it's starting to have the feel a little bit of a, a GoFundMe for the election which is re really not the way we ought to be running our election. Having said that, I think yeah, that I mean, if everybody... Little... Go ahead. Oh, no, I said it's, it's, it's a little bit, it's a little like our COVID response. I mean, this sort of like hap haphazard, uh, jurisdictionally balkanized, underfunded, not really coordinated, uh, sort of plucky civil society actors trying to plug in the holes. It, it seems a little like our COVID response, but but I agree with you. There is a tremendous amount of, of, of various folks trying to come together to make this election work. And I think that if people vote early, that's my biggest advice to everybody, that, it, that you'll be okay. So if you're voting absentee, make sure that you are A, registered, and that you request your absentee absentee ballot early. As you pointed out, North Carolina's already started to send those out. Other states are going to be following along soon. So get your absentee ballot at the soonest possible opportunity and then get it back at the soonest possible opportunity. If you don't want to put it in the mail, most jurisdictions have drop boxes, secure drop boxes, at least at the Board of Elections itself and often at other places throughout the community. Get your information from your board of elections from your secretary of states, go to vote.gov and you can follow the links to your own state and locality. Make sure you're getting reliable information. And if you decide to vote in person, yep. do that early too. It will take strain off the system on election day. 